Okay, in this video, we're just going to go over uh, an overview of taking derivatives in calculus. So let's start with the power rule. So if you have f of x equals um, 7x to the fifth, your derivative using good notation will be 35x to the fourth. Okay, so that's just the pure power rule. So now let's throw a chain rule in with that. So if you say f of x equals um, 6 times 3x plus 4 to the third power. Okay, if that's your function, then your derivative will be, use the power rule first, 3 times 6 is 18. Don't touch this at all. Raise it um, to the one less than three power, so that's two. Now you need to take the derivative of the inside, which is times three. Okay, so doing the chain rule, that's how you're getting this little three. So now let's clean it all up. F prime of x equals, so the three you should multiply by the 18. So three eight to 24, three ones to three, 54. And then we have 3x plus 4 squared. Okay, so we've gone over power rule. So this is just power rule. And this is power plus chain. So you're going to use the chain piece whenever you have a function that's raised to a power. Okay, here you had just a plain old x raised to a power. Okay, so let's continue on the next page. Okay, another rule that we should go through is the product rule. So we're going to do simple and then more complicated. So what if I said g of x equals 3x squared um, times, um, we'll do real simple, times x to the fifth. So say that you have to demonstrate knowledge of the product rule. So since you have to demonstrate knowledge of the product rule, you have to view this as a product. Okay, normally you would just combine your x to the second and x to the fifth into x to the seventh and proceed that way. But I wanted to have a simple example of the product rule, so that's why I've picked these simple functions. Okay, so g prime of x, oops, okay, g prime of x is going to equal left 3x squared d right, 5x to the 4th plus right x to the 5th d left 6x. So then you're going to clean this up. So g prime of x equals, okay, 3 times 5 is 15, write the base once, add the exponents, plus 6x to the 6th. So I should be getting 21x to the 6th, which is what I would have gotten if I turned my g of x into 3x to the 7th. So I know I have this all correct. So this is my final answer. Okay, let's go to a more complicated product rule on the next slide. So this is still product rule, but now what we're going to do is include the chain rule with it. So let's say f of x equals, and we'll make this 3x plus 2, and then times um, 4x plus 1 to the third. Okay, so here's the first function, here's the second function. Because I have two functions, I'm going to use the, power, the product rule. So f prime of x equals left, 3x plus 2, d right. Okay, for d right, I have to do power rule. Don't touch the inside. Raise it to the one less power. And chain rule, so times 4. Okay, so I did left, d right, plus right. So I have 4x plus 1 cubed, d left, which is just 3. Okay. So let's clean this up. So f prime of x <coughs> equals, 
I'm going to bring a 12 out. I have 3x plus 2, and then I have 4x plus 1 squared, plus 3 times 4x plus 1 cubed. Okay, at this point, I would do greatest common factor factoring to put this in its best form possible. So f prime of x equals, okay, so looking at this, and this, what do they have in common? So you should say 3 times um, the 4x plus 1 squared they have in common. So now, get that first green underlined back. I have a 3, I need a 12. I'm going to put a 4. I don't have a 3x plus 2, so I'm going to put 3x plus 2. Okay, that's done. Bring down this operation. I have the 3. I still need the 4x plus 1. So then what I'm going to do is, um, when I just change to a different color, let's clean up inside here. That's going to be 12x plus 8 plus 4x plus 1. So let's write this over one more time. I'm going to change back to my green. And I'm going to say, okay, f prime of x in the best factored form is going to be 3 times 4x plus 1 squared and then times um, 12x plus 4x is 16x, 8 plus 1 is 9. That's the best form, and I can't pull anything else out, so that would be my final answer. Okay, let's go on to the quotient rule. Okay, so why don't we say f of x equals, and we'll do simple, 7x squared over x plus 1. So f prime of x equals low, put it in parens, because you have more than one term and you're going to be multiplying, um, low d high, d high is just 14x, minus, don't forget that this is a minus, minus high, 7x squared, um, d low, which is just 1, because I just have an x plus 1, all over x plus 1 squared. Okay, this only needs a little tiny bit of cleaning up. I would bring the 14x in front, and I would definitely use the x plus 1 here. Then I would say minus 7x squared over x plus 1 squared. Now, I would probably clean this up one more step, so let me just see if I can move this. Okay, so here we have it. Let's go one more step. I'm going to change to red up here, and then we can say, okay, 14x times x, that's going to be 14x squared plus 14, whoops, 14 minus 7x squared. Okay, so I can see that I'm going to end up having 7x squared plus 14. So let me change back to my green, and I'm getting f prime of x equals, so I have 7x squared plus 14 over x plus 1 squared. Now because I always like to have it in factored form, I can factor out a 7 and get x squared plus 2, and that is much easier to work with and that is my best final form for that quotient rule. Okay, so let's um, jump into some uh, natural log stuff. So, um, natural log. So we're going to do derivatives of log, uh, I'm going to say base whatever, and ln. Okay, so let's start off with ln because that those are so easy. So uh, f of x equals the natural log of 8x plus 1. 
Okay, so my f prime of x will equal 1 over 8x plus 1 times the derivative of 8x plus 1, which is just 8. So my final form is going to be 8 over 8x plus 1. Done. I can't factor anything out. Do not cancel those x's. That would be a mistake. Okay, let's do another one. Okay, what if I said um, that f of x equals um, log base 4 of 3x plus 7. Okay, so f prime of x is going to equal 1 over natural log of 4. Remember, that's how you handle that log 4 term. And then now you do what you normally do. So 1 over whatever's behind the log term times the derivative of whatever you just wrote down in the denominator. So my final answer will be 1 over, and um, well, let's, let's clean this up. So let me eliminate that, and I'll make this a 3. And then what we could do is have 3x plus 7 here, and then have natural log 4 there. So that's a nice presentation of that answer. Okay, so the thing to notice, if I don't have natural log, I'm going to end up with natural log in my denominator. Okay, let's go back one. If I have natural log, I don't end up having natural log in my answer. So let's do, we'll do one more. So what if, um, what if I have something like this? f of x equals, and we'll do x squared plus 1 times log base 5 of, um, I don't know, of 4x. Okay, we'll keep it somewhat simple. All right, so things you want to know. This is going to be a function. This is a function. I have to do the product rule. So f prime of x equals left x squared plus 1, keep it in parentheses, d right. Okay, that's going to be 1 over natural log of 5, 1 over 4x times 4. Okay, plus right, which is just log 5, base 5 of 4x times 2x. Okay, so let's uh, clean this up. f prime of x equals, I would put x squared plus 1 in the numerator. I have a 4 as well, so let's put that in front. That was from here, so I've taken care of that, taken care of that. In my denominator, I would probably put the 4x in front and then natural log of 5. Okay, that, can, that takes care of the first set of terms. Bring down your operation, and then I would probably put the 2x in front, and then this is log base 5 of 4x. And that's my final answer. Okay, uh, one more. Let's um, oh, let's do e. So if I say g of x equals e to the oops to the seventeen x, then g prime of x will be write down what you see, and then take the derivative of your um, power. So my final answer for e is going to be 17 e to the 17 x. Done. All right. So this should give you an overview of some of the basic rules of uh, differentiation.